In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to macro for your favorite Roblox games and be able to play games on your computer at the same time. So a lot of modern Roblox games may incentivize or even straight up require the player to progress through excessive macroing of the game. Some examples of games of this genre are Bee Swarm Simulator, Mighty Omega, Anime Vanguards to name a few. There's way more. Now, on paper, having to macro a game means you can't use your computer as it's macroing so you can't play anything or do anything during this time. Now in the past, this was possible through virtual machines, but they were very intensive on your computer specs. So only mid to high range computers could really achieve this method a good way, right? And even then the results were pretty poor. Uh, eventually Roblox even patched out their software so that method fell out completely. But now with remote desktop software, the same results can be achieved with significantly higher quality and in a way that is a lot easier to run for lesser computers, so this should work fine for everybody. With that being said, the things you're going to need for this, uh, in order for this to work, is a new Microsoft account, a fresh installation of RDC, or Remote Desktop Connection, which I'll put in the description, and uh, a working macro for your respective game. Um, yeah, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go into the description, click the link to make a new Microsoft account, and once you've done that, click the next link in the description to go to the GitHub page for RDP Wrapper Library version 1.6.2 and install the zip file asset for RDP. Your computer might mark this as a dangerous file so to bypass this you can go to your downloads, click on the RDP wrap zip and then click download dangerous file. Even though it calls it dangerous it's completely harmless. <laughs> download and extract it. I recommend WinRAR for the extraction part but you can just extract it normally. Once extracted run the file named install preferably as an administrator to begin the installation. Then open RDP conf to ensure your RDP is stable and you're probably going to be seeing some red status here so here's how we're going to fix that. Go to your program files, go to RDP wrapper, look for a file named RDP wrap or RDP wrap dot any, it, it could be either one. And we're going to be replacing this file shortly but first we need to turn off our RDP service so here's how we do that. We're going to press the windows key type in services, bring up the services prompt, we're going to scroll down to remote desktop services, right click it and click stop. Now we're going to go get a file to replace the RDP wrap in our folder and to download this file uh, I had no way of putting it through the video so you can get it through my official discord right which is going to be in the description below. Go to the announcements channel, check pin messages, you'll find this very blatant message here about RDP wrapper jump to it and download the attached file and then once downloaded go ahead and delete the old RDP wrap that we found in the folder earlier and replace it with the new one we just got from my discord and then after this you'll want to go back to your services prompt and restart remote desktop services by right clicking it and clicking start now everything in your RDP conf should be green now we're gonna allow remote access in your computer so that the remote desktop service actually functions correctly Open control panel and navigate to system and security and then click allow remote access. Now depending on your operating system this might look different for you. Uh, if you see select users go ahead and click that then click add then click advanced click find new and add the new user you want to add through the remote desktop and then click OK on everything. And if you don't see any of this in the control panel you probably have like Windows 10 home. You can just skip this part we're going to fix it later. I actually had a small issue during the recording of this video where my listener state in my RDC conf was not listening. So to fix this I had to go back to my program files for my RDP wrapper, make sure my RDP wrap file was named RDP wrap, uh, so I had to get rid of the parentheses 1. If it's anything else it doesn't work and then I did a quick restart on my computer and now it's working correctly. I ran into another hiccup where my remote desktop didn't install correctly because it's been on my computer before. So I had to go to a Microsoft forum to get the installer file directly from there. If you're having a similar issue where you can't open up Remote Desktop Connection, you can find the link in the description below to install that. Uh, now that we're actually going to open the Remote Desktop Connection, you're also going to want to open up RDC Check. And then you're going to copy the PC port in the Remote Desktop prompt of that. Paste the PC port where it says Computer for our RDC. And then we're just going to adjust some settings here. Go to your display, make sure colors is set to highest quality 32-bit. 
go to local resources, navigate to keyboard, select on this computer, and then click connect. And then once the remote desktop connection opens up, there might be some issues that pop up. It may not display a proper sign-in prompt into the Windows account we just made, so we're going to manually add it into the RDC. Press the Windows key and R at the same time to open the run prompt and type in ms-settings colon other users and then press OK. Once you're in this menu, go ahead and navigate to other users on the bottom, click add someone else to this PC and then punch in all of your Windows account information. Now with the quick restart of our remote desktop connection for good measure, we can now see our Microsoft information. Let's sign in like it's our computer and we're into the RDC. From here you can treat it like a fresh computer, although it does have access to some of your computer's already installed applications. Make sure you download your Roblox player, Discord, whatever macros you're using. Set it up like you normally would, and whenever you take your mouse cursor off your remote desktop connection, like the entire window, it actually allows your macro to run while whatever else you do on your computer is completely unaffected. I don't recommend minimizing the tab for your RDC because that can cause it to mess up for reading certain things with certain macros, macros, but you can cover it up with something else with a different window that you'd rather be looking at and it should function just fine. And that's the end of the tutorial. I hope that helped all you guys out with you know making your macros significantly easier for your favorite games. If you are still having issues with your RDC, I'm going to recommend a Discord dedicated to helping with RDC specifically to help you troubleshoot your issues. For that, go to the link in the description labeled Troubleshooting Discord, and that should solve all your problems. With that being said though, enjoy your macroing, leave a little subscribe if you enjoyed this video, if you want, and have a good one.